2023 was a wild year in real estate. A few highs like record sales for a single family home and a bunch of lows, like the fewest annual sales since 1997. What's ahead? Let's talk about it. I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader of Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, and here is your 2023 year in review for the local real estate market of Newmarket, Ontario. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the inventory. 2023 had a lot of fluctuation and change in inventory. The year started out roughly with 100 active listings and stayed in that range for the first five months and then steadily increased through the summer, peaking out around 243 active listings at the end of October. Inventory then retracted from 223 active listings at the end of November to 120 active listings at the end of December. Now this is a fairly normal occurrence to have homes withdrawn from the market over the holiday season and we do fully expect to see the active listing count get back up over 200 fairly quickly as many of the homes that were withdrawn come back to the market. Now the next thing we do need to address is the low sales volume. We have to mention how slow the year of 2023 was for sales. It was actually the slowest year in sales in Newmarket since 1997. By the way, Newmarket has grown by 50% since that year. So this is really a staggering figure. Unit sales were down by 16% from 2022, but were down nearly 50% from 2021 sales levels which had had the second most annual sales ever in Newmarket. December had 65 sales reported for the month, which is actually a fairly normal number of sales for the month of December, which was a bit surprising to me given how slow the whole year was. But this could be due to a sense of urgency from some buyers as they watched the active inventory evaporate through the month as many homes were withdrawn. Now, this was not just a new market issue as volume was down big around the region. Toronto saw nearly 12% fewer sales than the previous year and 43% fewer sales than 2021. Peel region had the largest drop in volume with more than 15% drop in unit sales from 2022 and 51% fewer sales than 2021. That's pretty wild. Now, with prices, they didn't move a whole lot in 2023. There were some months where they were up and some months where they were down. However, there appears to be a slight downward trajectory with the medium price per year decreasing through the months and settling at 1,126,000 for the whole year of 2023. Now that is similar to where the market was in September of 2021. Average and median sale prices in December bumped up a little bit from November, but my guess is that's largely due to the number of homes that were withdrawn from the market, leaving buyers with fewer options. Now, we have to talk about price segments as it is a pretty important part of where the market is. Now, at this point, it does get a little bit into the weeds, so it does help to see the numbers on our actual market report to get a good grasp of what I'm talking about. The price segment between $750,000 and $1 million had the most sales of all price points in the year with 282, representing nearly a quarter of all the sales for the whole year followed by the $1 million to $1,250,000 range with 23% of all annual sales. However, there was only 357 sales for the year below $1 million. And that represents only 36% of all sales in 2023. We also need to mention that there was 28 sales reported above $2 million for the whole year. That's pretty interesting because it shows that the high end is still quite active as well. All right. We do have to talk a little bit about some of the concerns I have because there are a couple worth mentioning. Number one would be the number of assignment sales that are currently listed for sale. At the moment of this filming, 16 were listed as assignment sales. Now these are homes that have been bought from a builder which have not been completed yet and closed, but are scheduled to be finished in the coming months. The people that are trying to sell these are buyers of those contracts that are trying to sell the contracts to other buyers so that they can relieve themselves of the purchase and hopefully make a profit. Now the challenge here is that the market for pre-construction assignment sales has completely imploded. There has only been one assignment sale reported in all of Newmarket since 2022 
and the prospect of others does not look very good as the inventory of other housing types has been increasing as well as the interest rates. An assignment sale is really only attractive when there is little to no inventory and prices are attractive to investors to buy. Now my other concern is the number of vacant homes that are currently listed for sale. At the time of this filming, there's 141 active listings with 63 of them being listed as vacant. Now that represents 44% of all listings that are currently listed are actually vacant homes. During the whole year of 2023, there were 223 vacant homes sold in the new market, representing roughly 24% of the annual sale. So you can see that we currently have a glutton of vacant homes compared to what we can really expect to see sell for the whole year. Now, I should be clear though, um, a lot of those could be those assignment sales that are not even occupied yet because they're not even finished built. So they're listed as being vacant. So those numbers could be skewed because of that, those assignment sales listed. So really in summary, low inventory at the start of the year kept prices high. High prices coupled with high interest rates kept sales volume low. Low sales volume meant inventory started to build through the year. And as, in, as inventory increased, prices started to correct downward. And really that's it, that's it in a nutshell. So what's next? Where will the real estate market go in 2024? I get asked, how's the market all the time? It's a big reason for me in creating our monthly market report, is to help spread the word about what is actually happening out there. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do have my ear to the ground listening to a lot of industry experts and regional economists. And well, I'll tell you, the picture isn't overly rosy in the coming months. Interest rates are not projected to fall until around the third quarter of 2024 and will come down a lot slower than they rose. Now, I am projecting we'll probably see around a quarter point reduction starting in July and seeing rates likely settle around 4% in around the summer of next year. Now, which is regarded by many in the mortgage business to be considered around the sweet spot. The Bank of Canada has their first interest rate announcement on January 24th, but I'm fully expecting to see them hold the rate for this month. There is an expected $1 trillion in mortgages coming up for renewal in 24 and 25, and the majority of those looking to renew will be faced with significantly larger mortgage rates and payments, and may have a harder time qualifying for their new financing requirements, let alone their future monthly payment. This can't be ignored as the looming mortgage crunch, but with on a positive note, it is believed that only 35% of home owners in Canada actually have mortgages, with many being debt-free or holding a home equity line of credit instead, which is a lot more flexible. Mm. I predict that prices will continue to fall through the first half of the year, but slowly and settle at a balanced price around July when I expect to see those interest rates start to lower. I do foresee inventory rising quickly through the year though, as many of the homes that were withdrawn from the market in December will be coming back to get the attention of the new flock of buyers gearing up for the spring market. I picture inventory in town getting above 250 by the end of February and cresting around 300 by the end of May. Now this is a level of inventory that we have not seen in town since the summer of 2019, but I would consider it to be a fairly healthy amount of homes that should help balance out the supply and demand curve for where prices will settle. Now I don't say this to scare you, I tell you this to inform you. There are some agents that only want to paint pictures of sunshine and rainbows, but burying your head in the sand is no way to address the current market. Having a solid understanding of what is happening will help you get a better understanding of where you need to be positioned to successfully make a move in this competitive market. If you have any questions about the information provided in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. Either myself or a member of our team would be happy to discuss it with you and what's going on that may affect you. And if you're a homeowner that would like to get an idea on how much your home may be worth in today's market, we would love to have a talk to provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can get a better handle on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.